Okay, so next we understand that there are two branches of statistics. One is called uh, descriptive statistics and the other one is called inferential statistics. And what is the difference between these two? Well, the descriptive statistics involves the organization, summarization, and display of data. So in descriptive statistics, what we simply do, we collect the data and we try to portray the data in the form of charts, graphs, and tables. So we don't run any particular analysis on the data. We simply present the data in a form where it is more meaningful that we can understand the information given within the data. As it is said that a picture speaks more than a thousand words. So maybe uh, the raw data can be very uh, cumbersome to understand. There can be information which is uh, which can be represented in the form of a graph or maybe a chart or a table. So once you convert the information in that particular form, it becomes more meaningful. It becomes easy to understand and it shows you many uh, hidden uh, trends in the data. Okay, so that is a part of uh, statistics called descriptive statistics. By descriptive, we mean we only describe the data. Then we have inferential statistics where we try to infer or infer or estimate. So earlier we saw that we have uh, sample statistics and we have population parameters, right? So why, while using the sample information, we try to know about the population. Okay, let me give you an example. For example, if I have uh, a sample of 50 doctors working in Pakistan and I try to understand their characteristics so although the 50 doctors are not the complete population of doctors in the whole world, but they would tell me something about doctors, okay? And it can be really meaningful at times. So we do collect samples and then we try to understand the trends in those samples. And based upon those trends, we estimate the trends in the population. And this part of statistics is called inferential statistics. Most of the inferential statistics is probability based. So when we will talk about probability, so we will be relating that with inferential statistics. Now, here we not only collect the data, but we also interpret the data. We try to come up with results, we try to come up with estimations, and we try to come up with relationships, proposed relationships, and we then test them, which is called hypothesis testing. And we're gonna do that in the later subsequent chapters. Okay, right, so giving you the example, in a recent study, volunteers who had less than six hours, less than six hours of sleep, were four times more likely to answer incorrectly on a science test than were participants who had at least eight hours of sleep. Decide which part is the descriptive statistics and what conclusion might be drawn using inferential statistics. Well. The statement here where, where it says four times more likely to answer incorrectly, it is a descriptive statement. How, how we came to this? Because when we collected the data from uh, the students and we analyzed the data, we saw that within that sample data, these people who had sleep less than, who have slept less than six hours, they were uh, giving a lot of wrong answers, incorrect answers, exactly four times more than other people who were sleeping more than eight hours. So this is something that we saw in the data. This was a trend in the data. Okay, so this was a descriptive statement. An inference drawn from the sample is that all individuals sleeping less than six hours are more likely to answer science questions incorrectly than the individuals who sleep at least eight hours. Well, now, uh, if we talk about inference based upon this study, this scientific study, we can, we can estimate that people who sleep less than hour, they're more likely to give incorrect answers. So this particular estimate is done by studying this sample. So we have a sample of students, right? And we did analysis of this sample and based upon this sample analysis, we produce some statements. And these statements are inferential statements when we generalize them, when we 
generalize. We call it generalization, which means that we apply this finding on the general population. So here we are trying to apply this finding on the general population and inference drawn from the sample. So from the sample, we draw this inference that all individuals, see all individuals, why we are using all individuals? Because we are generalizing it. All individuals sleeping less than six hours are more likely to answer science questions incorrectly than individuals who sleep at least eight hours. All right, so this was a little example to tell you that how we use descriptive and inferential statistics. Next, we're gonna look at data and its classifications.